Hi Water Energies and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at what can you expect from this connection, okay? So for those of you that are romantically involved with someone, or even if you're just loosely involved with this particular energy, we're going to see what the cards predict for you and this romantic energy involved and for the future of this relationship or connection rather. This is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and we'll see what they predict for you. We'll also be using the Angel Answers Oracle um, cards. This reading here is intended for all water energies. So that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. <clears throat> so what can you guys expect <clears throat> from your romantic energy? And what can you expect for this romantic connection? Okay, you have the Ten of Swords here, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Lover's Card. <clears throat> the Six of Cups here, Temperance, as well as the Queen of Swords. Okay, what I get for a lot of you water energies is that you're dealing with someone very special here. Okay, I feel like this person has strong romantic feelings for you, and there's a strong soul connection here. Okay, some of you have this strong... Uh, familiarity towards this person almost like you feel as though you've met them before in another lifetime or as though you were maybe previously connected with this individual for some of you that is very much the case this could be like a past energy so it could be an ex it could be someone that you were involved with um in the past so you're trying to give this connection another go you're trying to revisit things and hope and hopefully you know revitalize uh your connection with this individual. A very soulful, very special, very unique, okay? A very powerful, strong connection here. And because of this emotional intensity, things are going to get a little bit complicated with the Ten of Swords. For some of you, this is yet to happen. For others of you, maybe this is where you're at right now with the Ten of Swords. There is something about this connection that is causing you a lot of pain, okay? Something that perhaps this person might say or do something that you didn't necessarily foresee. Now, your water energy, you can be very intuitive. You can be extremely intuitive, provided you're tapped in and tuned into your intuition. But even you didn't necessarily foresee this coming water energies. It's something you didn't even expect. It does feel like a sense of betrayal. It does feel like, okay, well, you know, like a red flag that was waving at you, but you probably should have seen coming. Something that they say or do here is going to leave you in a lot of pain or is going to leave you second guessing this connection for a lot of you i see a separation there, there will come a time when the two of you you may be talking now and things may be you know going really swell now but in the future here could possibly indicate around the month of october it could be like 10 weeks or 10 months from now it could be as soon as 10 days I, d I feel like there is going to be a separation here. Now, this separation is temporary, guys, okay? This isn't a final separation. Um, I feel like something ends here for the two of you. However, despite the finality to this card, I do see a reconnection again. I want to say that for a lot of you, it feels like maybe the two of you, you know, you start on the wrong foot with this person, okay? And sometimes, you know, life's greatest journeys begin with the most... Life's greatest journeys here, life's most exciting journeys begin with the wrong turn, okay? So something here is going to really cause you, it's going to pain you, it's going to cause you a lot of pain that the two of you are going to come to a stage where you're not going to be communicating or where you're just not going to be understanding each other. I feel like that was necessary because I'm also seeing, look, this could this could be referring to individual pain rather than the actual connection. So maybe this person pulls away because there is some healing. They pull away from you because there is some healing that they need to do. So if your person goes distant and if you cannot necessarily understand why, you can't explain it. It's because I see that your person is hurting and they need to do some healing on their end. There is some endings coming up around them. And as a result, unfortunately and sadly, your connection with this person will suffer, okay, for the time being. But then you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about, you know, it's 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 like a fix-it card. You'll have an opportunity to fix this. They may have an opportunity to re-enter your life because I feel like this is, for some of you, you're dealing with a water, water energy. And I feel like 
this is someone who's going to reach out to you or you're going to be reaching out to this individual and I see them responding. I see them being very receptive to you, towards your energy here. So this is a definitely a fixer card. You'll have an opportunity to amend things, okay, to possibly repair, salvage or fix things. Now, as with, you know, every pentacle and every coin, there are two sides to a coin, okay? So when they do come back or when the two of you do sort of reconcile your differences, just keep in mind, and you are very considerate energy, guys, but just keep in mind that they're, you know, they they have their side of the story here as well, as do you, okay? And, you know, your side of the story is just as important as theirs and vice versa. So you'll have a chance to fix things, but it's very important that, especially if you do want to fix it and get it right the second time, it's very important that you do consider things from their view, from their viewpoint. There's a very strong romantic energy. Something about this connection feels destined. And I feel like there's something to be said about two people who the universe just conspires to bring the two of you together time and time again. Okay. There could be some external factors that might influence and even oppose your connection. It could be timing. It could be, you know, career or work it could be something or someone else that constantly gets in the way of this connection but I feel like the two of you will continue to keep finding each other time and time again and it's not coincidental this is a you know this is the work of fate this is the work of destiny I do feel like the two of you even if you guys aren't in contact right now find comfort in the thought that there is going to be a time again when your paths will cross and you might have an opportunity to love each other all over again okay and to do this all over again like a do-over so there is something to be said for those you know beautiful souls that just keep finding each other time and time again you know despite the distance despite the energies that might oppose them Okay, um, and that's very special. And I do feel like there is something very special about this connection. Like you have a soul, you have a soul connection with this person. I feel like maybe this is someone whom you were destined, and maybe you've had some sort of relationship or some sort of connection with this person, with this energy in your past lifetime. Okay, and maybe you know it didn't work out in your previous lifetime, and maybe this time around you get to do it again. There's just something about this connection that does feel a little bit. Like it feels, there's a sense of sadness because I feel like there's something that keeps separating and will continue to keep separating with the two of you again and again. But know that for a lot of you, this, this is a connection that's meant to withstand all the different challenges and obstacles that oppose it. And I do feel like you will find a way back to one another. Okay, no matter how far you go and you pull away from each other, there is something that will continue to bring each other back. Okay, call it a gravitational pull, call it right place at the right time, call it fate, destiny, the universe, cosmos, the source, your spirit guides. Um, angel guides, you know, whatever label you want to put to it, it's meant to be. Okay, so I do see, I do see that it's either you, you're the one, because you're coming up as the water energy, right? You're the one that's reaching out to this person. This person responds though, and every time you do reach out to them, there's always a response. Okay, they're always there for you. They're always, they're always resp responsive. So I see either this person reaching out to you here. Okay, from and they're coming from a sense of nostalgia. This is someone who really misses you. This is someone who, you know, thinks about you all the time. They're also thinking about how things didn't work out with the two of you the first time around, okay? Um, and if this is you reaching out to them, then I definitely see them being very responsive. And they're actually very happy that you did reach out to them because a part of them feels like they might have, you know... Um, mess things up with you now temperance here is a reminder for a lot of you water energies to be patient or why rush something that you want to make last forever right be patient i mean love you can't hurry love you know love can't be hurried it can't be um, pushed you can't just you know allocate a time frame for it to happen so there's a great deal of patience that is going to be needed for this connection and for some of you I'm just going to be honest some of you I feel like you may not even have the patience here because there's some like I said for a lot of you you just want this to happen already you want to love this person and you want to be loved in return you want to have this ideal partnership with them this connection this marriage you know you just want things to work so badly that a lot of you and you're coming from a, you're coming from a pure place a very honest and raw place okay and your intentions are all in the right place but just because you have to be you have to be reminded just because you're ready it doesn't make the other person as equally ready so this is why you're going to have to be patient on them and for those of you that are you will be rewarded with a very truly special connection okay one that I feel like might even withstand the test of time now Queen of Swords she's also someone who 
uh, values, you know, she's someone who values truth and honesty. I feel like your connection here, once you really get to know one another, I feel like it's going to be a very honest connection, okay? The two of you are going to be very comfortable in being very open with one another and very honest with one another. There is always going to be truth between the two of you, okay? You're always going to speak, speak words of truth and honesty to one another. There's a lot of mutual respect and admiration and love an attraction in this connection it feels so equal so we just want to say what the angel we just want to see what the angel cards have for you here so what advice do the angels want to whisper with regards to your romantic connection with this energy and what's to happen in the future hmm. okay within the next few months trust and ask for help from others okay so something is going to happen within the next few months and for a lot of you I feel like it's a ten of swords situation that I spoke about that might be coming to an end or it just may be something you may be going through or it may be them reaching out and connecting with you so I see communication or I see some really big happenings around this connection and for a lot of you I did say that you know you have to be patient for those of you that do find yourself impatient at times with this connection don't doubt it okay just because it's not happening right now it doesn't mean it's not going to happen in the future and we want things to happen on our timeline of course we do but at the end of the day you know know that this is all part of the grand scheme of things and that the universe has a lot of big plans for you in this connection ask for help from others um, if you are you know if you do find yourself in moments where you're feeling very doubtful or you know you have reservations about this connection and about whether or not to continue to pursue this um, you do have beautiful energies around you here water signs who I feel like would be more than willing to even just listen to you okay listen to you or even help help you by giving you some very um, solid advice here so ask for help from help for others because they may illuminate some things that you might not see here Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.